What's up you guys, it's That Guy in Tech. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to talk about my experience joining an online crypto community known as Friends with Benefits or FWB. And before you start raising your eyebrows and making assumptions, the benefits portion of this Friends with Benefits community actually comes from the fact that it's just a random group of people on the internet meeting each other, hanging out, and working on cool projects, whether it's music production, digital art, learning about crypto, or even just meeting up and having a good time. It's been really cool, it's been a great experience, and I actually bought a token to join this community. Unlike a lot of the other cryptocurrency projects out there where it's just speculation about this digital money, this is actually more of a membership investment. And this investment has indeed treated me really well. In the early days of crypto, it made a lot of sense to talk about the price because that was the only way that people could compare digital internet money with something in the real world. Today, after years of development, we have a lot more exciting things to talk Talk about. For example, NFTs. There's definitely innovation in that space. Another type of digital asset that I think is very exciting to explore is social tokens and the concept of DAOs or decentralized autonomous organizations. I want to talk about the human side of crypto. In particular, my experience joining FWB, Friends with Benefits. So first, I just want to share some context around what DAOs or decentralized autonomous organizations really are and what are social tokens. A DAO is a commitment to share value with a community. DAOs seek to provide members with a voice through governance, flatten hierarchy, and create fluid work streams. They also allocate resources to achieve a core mission. Regardless of size, DAOs look to solve core missions, evolving a group chat into a success-driven community. Cooper Turley is someone who's very prolific in this space in terms of interacting with different DAOs and writing about DAOs. So you can see he's a fan of Ethereum blockchain and Ether, the cryptocurrency and NFTs. So it's kind of cool to look at his diagram that he's put together here, the DAO landscape. He says today there are more than 100 DAOs managing over $10 billion in assets. And the way to look at this diagram is that there are different groupings or different categories of DAOs. So there are DAO operating systems or investment DAOs or grants DAOs or collectors DAOs. So they're all different flavors of organizations that are forming in this crypto and internet native way. Why did I decide to explore FWB out of all of the DAOs that are out there? So in my head, it's kind of like a Ponzi scheme that's sustainable. And the Ponzi part comes from the fact that the value of these tokens and the value of my share increases based on more people buying in and being interested. But the sustainable portion comes from the fact that the actual value that the people within the group are creating is real. It's real productivity, it's real content, it's real connections and real relationships. And to me, that's actually worth the price of admission. So basically I applied through the membership application and initially I was actually rejected. They told me that something to keep in mind is that the FWB community and the membership is just as much about who you are outside of work as much as it is about your professional accomplishment and dreams. So they basically told me that, hey, we, um, it doesn't mean that you're rejected and you're not allowed into the group. You can reapply, but there's a cooldown period that's required because otherwise people would just spam applications, telling them what they want to hear until they can get in. So. I was a little bit sad, but I thought that was fair. And uh, I ended up waiting on the sidelines and just understanding that, hey, maybe I didn't put the most effort that I could have into my application. So the second time I applied, I really made sure to get the point across that I'm not just treating this membership as a quick cash grab, but I really do want to learn about DAOs and contribute to the community. And I talked about my love for Rick and Morty and freestyle rapping and even home renovations because that's something I've been doing a lot. and. That, I think, really helped because the point that I was trying to make is that I'm here to make new friends and help build towards this future ideal rather than just flip some coins and make some money. So I also want to share my top five favorite moments with FWB so far. The first one is just being able to be a part of the governance process. There's been town halls that everybody could participate in regarding the future of the organization, how do we pay contributors who are really helping to build the brand, and all of these other really important decisions that go into making a self-sustaining group. Number two, learning from industry. I love that I've been able to sit in on conversations with people such as Matthew Leasing, who talked about his book, Out of the Ether, which is about the history of Ethereum and a famous hack that happened in the past. 
And I've also been able to listen to another talk by the founder and CEO of Rabbit Hole, which is a crypto project that rewards people for learning how to do things in crypto. Fourth favorite moment is just being able to meet influential people. For example, after I posted on Twitter this tutorial I wrote for the Flow blockchain, Trevor McFedries reached out wanting to discuss potential opportunities working with one of his projects, Lil McKella, which that's pretty cool. And the final moment that I've really enjoyed from FWB is being able to hang out with some Bay Area locals. David Phelps, one of the members in the group, organized a brunch and there were eight of us who showed up and we got to finally put a face and a voice to each other's screen names on Discord, which was really nice. So just to wrap up, I think it's really cool how nowadays there's so much more to crypto than just the price of a token. There's just so much more now about social networking and reputation and how much you can contribute to a community. And that shows me that crypto is actually a place where I can thrive and build relationships and live rather than just a concept that I trade and make some quick money on. So that's it. Let me know if you wanna hear more about social tokens or DAOs or anything that I talked about in this video. And if you have any questions and you want to have a conversation with me, then feel free to email me or DM me at my Twitter handle. Uh, I'm on Twitter all the time, so I love talking to people. If you have questions, just reach out. So that's it. Let me know if you loved it and I will see you next time. Bye.